hell no. Oh hell no. I'm out. Alright guys, so we are at a very cool place today. Today we are at an anatomy institute. So this place was uh, opened in 1949, so end of the 40s. And it was abandoned and closed down in 2005. So this place is, has been very known to, uh, to a lot of urban explorers. Uh, as you can see, it's totally vandalized. But we got a lot to see, so let's explore. Tiles. It's like okay. What do I have in here? Should we open and see? Okay, that looks weird. What are those? I don't know. Here's the ventilation, the uh, generator, and down here. This is why. Oh, here's the stairs to get down here to fix the pipes and stuff. Oh, and here's the filters. Bunch of filters that you put like that and then it cleans the air. What do we have in here? Uh, nothing. So, okay, ventilation. Okay, this is some type of storage. But like, what? It just reminds me of like, I don't know, a pet store. Maybe they kept like, you know, rabbits and stuff to try. I don't know. Um, okay, what is... That is such a weird type of construction. Why would you have like a hole like this? This is weird. Here's another sink, quite weirdly located. Okay, this is an older type of, again, a fume hood. So it's made of metal, and then there's some tiles in there, uh, and then the glass cover. And then there's a sink. So this tiny little room, if you want to call it that, is for this. And look at that door. That looks really gross. The isolation that's all melted. Okay, that's like a backside or something. Did you walk here? It's creepy. Ola, the audit auditorium board. relieved to get out of that basement because I don't know it's just chilling it's creepy down there it's nice to be on the surface a little bit with some light and and air and not so many enclosed 
areas. Cool. Like, how often do you en encounter this type of stuff? Right? It's like super cool. I mean, you can tell over here that they burned. They tried to burn this place. So, yeah. One of those fume hoods. The walls here are totally <laughs> torn apart. This must be like the labs for the students to. What is this? Why is there like a steel door? It's just like a fan in there. Maybe that's like a special room, you know, for, you know, with special conditions for whatever that you put in there. Now let's see a couple of few words. Oh, there's a lot of black mold in here. But it's good, it's well ventilated, like they open all the windows. So, oh, this room looks weird. They're kind of creepy with the bricks and black cover. Oh my god, look at the ceiling, look at all this. Oh! Okay, so this is the top floor, or this is the ceiling. Um, looks like some outdoorsy. Um, area for you to chill at during summer. It's on top of the auditorium, which is in there. And then that's another building right there. And then we got another one right there. And then that one where the glass walls are uh, active. <laughs> but it's like a really weird location. It's like only this place is abandoned, but then everything around it is like super active. I mean, you can even hear the cars in the background. Watch out here. Oh, this is ground floor. Is that the old building? It sounds like someone's sweeping stuff in there. But it could be the, the sound just bouncing around here, but I have no idea. I have no idea. So much noise, so much people. The street is just right outside. I'm trying to find the cadaver cabinets. So right now we're in this courtyard. Oh wow, there's a huge tree just growing here. I didn't even notice that.
Look at that, your city. and then in here it's just totally dead and quiet but it's it's, it's kind of comforting as well to hear everyone outside <laughs> and hear the noises from the outside the civilization uh, because being here it's quite creepy I mean we know what's in here so we are uh, discussing whether what we're, we're gonna go upstairs or downstairs but uh, since I start with orientation uh, apparently we were walking up there so we have to go downstairs to the basement. Like when you know there's cadaver cabinets in the basement, then uh, you kind of don't want to go downstairs. <laughs> it's quite comfortable up here on the surface. I'm on, I'm, I need to like brace myself to go downstairs again. <sighs> oh, why? <laughs> Found the destination. Man, I didn't show that. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! I'm out. speak for itself.
mean, <laughs> this is chilling, honestly. I'm like, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I mean, you become so speechless when you kind of see this stuff. Fortunately, it's all empty. Hopefully. <laughs> it's, uh, you can see how it is. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, if you didn't know about this, I mean, it would just be like, oh, storage, maybe cooking. I don't know. Cookie factory. But, okay, so this is where they put every, all the bodies that they would dissect. What was that? Was that you? This is where they would put all the bodies and then dissect for the students to see. I mean, anatomy. I mean, it's really comforting to hear civilization on the outside, actually. To hear the kids scream, uh, cars driving by, uh, and just nature out there. It's really comforting instead of like having closed doors and windows. And total silence and uh, darkness. <laughs> There's another door over here. I wonder what, what's on this side. Oh, oh. this is where we came. But this is where we got, this is where we started. This is where we got inside, and it was just behind. Behind this door is this, and we were like looking all over the place. Like, where are the cabins? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. It has been really chilling in many ways. Um, the fact that you know what's going on here and especially down here um it has been uh, just really creep a really creepy place basically please share comment like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on stuff like these bye